Okay guys, going to look at another wee fly here today. Um, we a hatching sedge pupa. Uh, loads of them on the loch, loads of them in the rivers, lakes all over the place, lochs and lakes all over the place. Great wee fly for the summer nights. Okay, hooking device is one of these Drennan hooks. I've had these for years. Um, I'm sure there's different alternatives there. You could use a grub hook, it's up to you. This is a size 12. Thread, going to use a yellow thread. Just a simple yellow thread, AO. So take your thread down the body. Now, if you wanted to weight this fly, this is the time. Maybe use some lead foil to put a bit of weight in the fly, but I'm going to use this one unweighted. So, usual way, take your thread down to down the bend, snip it away. So this is going to be tied with organza, the same organza ribbon. Now you can change the body of these flies, you can make them yellow, you can make them orange, you can make them green, it's entirely up to you. But again, using your organza ribbon, what you're going to do is cut a taper in that organza. So you want about three, four inches Cut that like that, okay, so you've got a long taper, and then when you cut that off, it gives you two bits, okay. So what you need to do is you need to pick the long fibres out of this. If you put your scissors in, pick it out, you'll find that there's fibres in between. So you just pull them out, just take your time, get a needle or your scissor points or whatever, and just pick the long fibres out. And what that leaves you with is like a wee hackle. So it's almost like a... Just a hackle fibre, really. You know, it's got, it's got the taper. It's not doing the one side right enough. But um, it gives you that, okay? So you can make a few of them up. Maybe a wee shorter one here. I'm going to use this one. I say, but you can trim that to suit, you can trim these ones to suit whatever size of fly you're using, okay? Maybe using that for a bigger fly. I've trimmed this one down, okay? So, tie that in at the bend, nice and tight. Now you're going to use a body dubbing, because a colour match it to the same. So, seals fur, synthetic, living fibre, SLF, whatever you fancy, whatever you've got. I've had this stuff for years, I've got this for a guy up north, this is called Artifly, you don't get this anymore, but it's just something I've got lying about. Quite like that colour, that kind of apple green colour. So, a bit of your dubbing, whatever one you fancy, in the same process, nice and tight, dubbing it onto your thread, long, thin spindle, a dubbing. So don't put in lumps, keep it as even as you can, all the way down, okay, nice and tight, then you're going to take that up the body, so touch and turns, just wind that, now you're probably looking to put a bit of a taper into these bodies because these sedges are quite, actually quite chunky, so you can build a bit of body up here, just tighten this up a wee bit, so slightly tapering, More dubbing on if you need it. You want to leave a thorax area clear, so a bit there. It's fine. So I'm leaving this last wee bit here clear. Then take your organza. Now just wind it like a rub. And what will happen is the fibres will stick out. That's what you're looking for. This creates a nice wee sparkle in the water. This stuff really lights up when it gets wet. Okay. So tie that off. Three or four turns up the body. Just a nice open rib, okay? Now, you can give that a wee, a wee rub with your um, dubbing brush, your Velcro, whatever, if you want to pick some of the fibres out, okay? So tie that off. Now, if you look at these naturals, you'll see that they've got quite a predominant wing case here. You can see the wing, wing buds. So you can use different things. You could use... Uh, raffia, you could use some sort of plastic, you know, these shell back plastics, or you could just use pheasant tail, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take a bunch of pheasant tail, probably about six or eight, 
fibres, pull them off and tie them in with the tips facing forward. Tie them in your thorax area, light turn to hold and then I'm going to use these tips as legs, so I'm going to bend them back. So I'm going to pull that to get the length of the leg that I want to. I'm going to tuck that underneath to make that any legs. So I'm going to tie that off there. And do the same on the other side. Take a bunch of fibres. Tie them in. And then just pull them back to the length that you want for your legs. Okay. So that's the two then. Just check there. So there that's pretty good. Tie them in. So just take your thread forward. Binding the legs. These ends of these fibres in so they act like your legs. You're going to tuck them underneath. Okay. So just tidy that up a wee bit. Underneath. Most of them underneath. Okay. Take the thread back up. Now we sort of enhance that, make it a bit darker looking, use a kind of darker seals fur, SLF, whatever you've got. I'm going to use this kind of chocolatey brown colour, it's actually called fiery brown. So, a wee bit of that. I think these are the kind of triggers that the fish see. They see the, the chunky juicy body and the dark wing cases, wing buds and thorax. I think that's kind of a target or a trigger for these fish. So take that forward, create your wee thorax. Okay. Now just take these fibres, split them, tuck them underneath. Just tuck them down. Double one, doesn't want to go. Tuck them under, throw a turn on, just to pull them in at the road now. Okay. Anything that's not really quite went, just snip it off. Now, taking your pheasant tail, so what you want to do is fold it forward, put a kink in it, and sit it where you want it, right? So throw a loose turn onto it, and then just pull it gently to the length of wing bud you want. Okay, so it's a bit there. Tighten that down. Same on the other side, throw a kink in it, tie that down. Okay, and just gently pull it to the length you want. So you just tweak these till you get the effect you're looking for. And then tie that in. Nice and tight. Okay. Probably shorten this one a wee bit. That's all right. It's a pretty chaotic wee fly. It's just it's a hatching fly. And if you look at the original, the natural, at the start of the video here, you can see it's just chaos. It's quite good. Don't worry about it. It's nothing too, it doesn't have to be neat and tidy. And then, the horns, so these they've got too long antenna. Now you can use bronze mallard, you could use wood duck, you could use whatever you want, but I'm just going to use these two, two pheasant tails, fibres, because I've got them handy. Okay, so lay them on the top, make them as long as you like, they're usually quite long. So tie them in, loose turn, check where you want them to be, I pull them down the sides a wee bit. Take these down the side a wee bit, and that's fine. Tie that. Cut away the ends. Now, just to tidy up this head area, just to enhance it a wee bit, I'm going to use a kind of darker seals for. So I'm going to use this claret, just a tiny bit. Again, it just to sort of emphasise the head area. It just makes a wee difference. Just to add a wee bit of contrast in. Okay, so we turn there just at the roots. Just create a wee head and then tidy that up. Okay, 
Now, a lot of these have got sort of orange eyes, these hatching sedge. So what I do is I just take my Sharpie, colour my thread a wee bit, and go straight in for a whip finish. So just tidy that up with the head there, and whip finish in there. Creating that with your orange hot spot. I don't know how much difference it makes, but you never know. It might just be the very thing that sets the fish off. Now your horns, if you take your scissors or your fingernail and if you pull them through, you see how it curls them, okay? So, spend a minute doing that and that curls the fibres to suit. Okay, so, hatching sedge, merging sedge, what you want to call it. Fish them with a wee bit of weight, if you want, you put a lead underbody, change the body colour is find the ones that's on your water. Um, my local loch has a lot of yellow ones and some green ones. I've seen orange as well. Um, it's entirely whatever's local to you. Find out what's there and copy the colour to suit. Okay. So there you go, guys. Hatch and sedge. Hope you enjoyed that.